right now, Eyewitness Sports. Good evening, I'm Brennan Miller with Eyewitness Sports. The Utica Comets in Laval tonight to take on the Rocket for the third straight game. But before the puck dropped, the American Hockey League made an announcement at 3 o'clock honoring some of the sport's brightest future stars, including one Comet star. The team's leading goal scorer this season, Graham Clark, will represent the Comets in San Jose February 4th and 5th for the Skills Competition and All-Star Challenge. He has 11 goals this year, two more than his next closest teammates, Xavier Perrant and Max Willman, while also tallying double-digit assists, his mark of 10 only behind Perrant, Kyle Chris Kulo, and Ryan Schmelzer. The 22-year-old made his NHL debut on January 6th in the New Jersey Devils game against the Vancouver Canucks, where he was plus one in the loss while accruing just over nine and a half minutes of ice time in 15 shifts. Another fun wrinkle in Clark's selection to the North Division's all-star roster, his younger brother Brant, who was the eighth overall pick in the 2021 NHL entry draft by the Los Angeles Kings, was also selected as the lone representative from his team, the Pacific Division's Ontario Reign, making him and Graham the first pair of brothers to skate in the same AHL All-Star Classic since Ray and Peter Ferraro in 2003, and just the second set of siblings to ever do it. Before that, though, Utica was still trying to climb out of the basement in the North Division. Right now, we're going into this game an eight-game losing streak, albeit with points in their last three, the most recent two against the Laval Rocket, who they played again tonight, this time up in Quebec. Two streaking teams going head-to-head, -head, Utica at the bottom of that dip, having lost eight in a row. Meanwhile, the Rocket had been one of the hottest teams in the league, eight and two overall in their last 10 games, and the fourth longest win streak in the league going into this one, fittingly having won four games in a row. And Utica comes away with the win, snapping that losing streak with a 6-5 to five final, albeit it had to go all the way to overtime. And then with just 20 seconds remaining, Joe Gambardella knots the game-winning goal to snap that streak for the Comets. And then when that game came to an end, you could have had to the, to the ACC Network or to the JMA Wireless Dome for another contest that tipped off a few hours later. The Syracuse Orange Men hosting Boston College in an ACC matchup. QSportsTalk.com spoke with Syracuse head coach Adrian Autry about the game tonight. Here's what Red had to say pregame. From the teams of the past, I think the one thing that jumps off the page right away is their offensive uh, improvements. You know, they've made they've made some big improvements offensively. They brought in a couple of guys, and then they have a, a nice little core group of two or three guys. Uh, so I think they're playing just as well as anybody in our league. And again, veterans, they got an older group, and they have a kind of a, a, a nucleus of guys that have been there, Quinn Post and Zachary, and, and bringing along those young guys. So again, that game started a few hours later at 9 o'clock. The Orange were looking to get back to 500 in conference play against an Eagles team that they defeated in both head-to-heads last season, 79-65 on New Year's Eve 2022 at the Dome, and then 77-68 on the road in early February. Syracuse was the favorite going into tonight by 4.5 points. They cover that a 10-point win for the Orange, 69-59. to It got close there at the end, but Syracuse goes on a run to break things out. Chris Bell, 20 points for him. And then Malik Brown, 19 points, 8 boards. The big story from this one, though, Judah Mintz, the starting point guard who's got NBA aspirations for next year, did not start this game. That was due to a little uh, what was called team discipline by head coach Autry. Mm -hmm. So won't be anything moving forward. Judah will be back in the lineup for the Orange. They get the win. So do the Comets tonight. All right. Yep. Two for two. Thanks, yeah, Brennan. Yeah, good. We'll be back after the break.